Hey guys, how's everybody doing? It is your very good friend Keith, here live at Essex Recording Studios in the control room just outside London in England, and I've got an insane, really cool instrument to share with you today. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe, totally free, come join the circle of friends, and you're going to learn a lot about some very rare, very cool guitars and basses that I buy each and every day from all around the world to share with you. If you want to buy them, they're all for sale on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com, hosted by our good buddies, Reverb.com. And uh, if you want to record with them, even better, because we're a professional, world-class recording studio, residential. You can come here, you can stay here, you can record here, but you got to get in touch. Best way to do so? Facebook. We are on the face space. It is at Essex Recording Studios. We're also on Instagram at Essex Recording Studios and Twitter at Essex Recording. Now, we're going to chat about this Charvel Jackson bass, Ferrari Red, insane condition. I'm not allowed to call it awesome. Why am I not allowed to call it awesome? Because the uh, American in me has been getting out a little too often and we like to say super, we like to say awesome, we like to say super awesome. And some of you guys have noticed that I use those words a lot. And literally, someone had the guts, the cojones, to say to me in the comment section of another video, I dare you not to say the word awesome to describe any of these instruments. Every single one you call them awesome. You know, frankly, I don't know what word better describes this bass. But I won't use it just to appease the masses, all right? I do read the comments. I do take everything to heart. All right. So, this really, 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 really cool Jackson Charvel bass, believe it or not, is a 1986. It is in practically mint condition. I would call it excellent for sure. As far as I'm concerned, considering that it's almost 33 years old, um... You know, it's as mint as they come, guys. I think I've seen one little mark somewhere. But look at this. I mean, look at the tuners. This thing hasn't been touched. There's a little bit of bird's eye to the uh, to the maple neck, which is really cool. Scarf joint. This is Japanese built. All of the Charvel bases were Japanese built at this time. You've got the 3D Fort Worth, Texas neck plate with the serial number there. I mean, no buckle rash, no nothing. This is absolutely crazy to get something this clean, guys. This is a time capsule. This is a uh, time warp, time machine. I'm trying to think of all the, the slogans people use to describe things that look like they haven't been touched in uh, different countries. In America, we call them cream puffs and time capsules. Over here in England, they say time warp. So... Uh, let us know in the comments section what your country uses to describe things for sale that are just ridiculously untouched and clean. Look at these uh, Jackson pickups. I'm not sure. I, I can't imagine these ever had the white font on them because of the condition of this guitar, or this bass. But you've got the P, Precision and Jazz, so PJ pickup configuration. I'm loving this bridge. This thing is a heavy machine piece. Heavy duty bridge, big time. The sustain and resonance and just tone on this thing is nuts. Let's just. It's a little loose there. Probably tighten that one up. But just to give you an idea. And I mean, this thing is vibrating like crazy. Still feeling it. Yep, still feeling, still hearing it a little bit. Still vibrating. Body is still vibrating. Still going. And it's just gone now. That's that's how nuts the uh, the resonance is on this body. I know with the lighting, it turns a little bit pink, but that's the proper color. I'd call it Ferrari red or 80s Corvette red. Let's take it out of its case and get it a little bit better under the light here. Okay. 
like I said, I think it has one mark I could find on it. A little bit, little little mark in the lacquer right there. Very hard to see. I'm not going to ask insane money for it, but I'm going to ask good money for it because you just cannot get a uh, an 80s Charvel base this clean in this condition. This is the Model 2B. They, they made three. We have a 3B in the uh, in the other room. I did a video for it the other day. Also an 86. That one's neck through. Not in nearly as good condition as this, but still really, really good. This one's going to go up for... What are we going to do on this one? Uh, I'm, I'm in love with it. It's going to go up for 999 in my local currency or best offer. So if you want it, you can click buy, buy it now. You'll snatch it right up. If you want to make a cheeky offer, I would say don't, don't try your luck too hard because uh, it, this one's going to go fast, guys. It's the perfect color. It's in amazing condition. I didn't say awesome there. I said amazing. And it just doesn't get better than this. You know, and I get people might say, oh, well, it's a, you know, Jap Jap a new Japanese Jackson base you can't even get anymore, first of all. Um, the high-end imports, uh, generally, any Japanese high-end import, or not J Japanese, the Indonesian high-end imports for the on the guitar side of things are getting real close to like 1500 bucks to 2000 bucks now. Not even for USA, it's getting crazy. Over here... Um, I've seen 1900 pounds, I think is the most expensive import Jackson, which is, uh, just crazy, especially when you convert it to dollars. So this thing being in like new condition, uh, with the added bonus of having 30, almost 33 years of history behind it, you see what happens to instruments when they hit 40 years old, when they hit 50 years old. The values go through the roof. If you keep this this clean, this is going to be big money. Because it's a professional instrument. It was built to professional standards. It sounds, it plays to professional standards. It's awesome. If you want to have some fun with it and swap out the pickups, by all means, just save them. You know, um, try to keep everything original as possible. But this is a collector's grade investment quality piece here. Awesome piece of Charvel Jackson history from the very best days before they sold the company off to Fender. Awesome. Oh, I said it at the very end. You got me. I don't know who stayed around that long to listen to it. That's why I used it. I figured I could sneak that one in. Cool, guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. And again, hit me up on Facebook at Essex Recording Studios, Instagram at Essex Recording Studios. Twitter at Essex Recording and check out our, our website. It's aw it's really, really nice. Almost said awesome there. <laughs> it's really cool. And of course, Reverb. If you buy this, I will ship it to any country in the world. Everything goes out priority. Here in the UK, it goes out next day. And I hope you just got a kick out of this like I did. You, you cannot find instruments like this every day of the week. You, you can't... To me, with as much buying as I do, this is like a once in, once a year find, and that's buying seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Day in, day out, week in, week out. And just, yeah, really, really cool. All right, guys, more videos coming your way. Stick around on the channel, and your buddy Keith will be right back with you. See ya.